In this video, we are going to solve a numerical on crypt arithmetic. We have already solved two more numericals here. If you have missed watching them, I will link them down below in the description. Please watch them as well to understand the topic even better. So let's try to solve this particular numerical where we have to add two words, base plus ball, which will result into the word games. Okay, as the word suggests, crypt, these are alphabets, but they have numbers associated with them. What are these numbers? They are, they can be from 0 to 9. So this is one of the constraints that are given to us. So the numbers that we can use to assign to these alphabets that we have, they can be from 0 to 9 only. And when you assign a particular value to a certain alphabet, uh, you cannot use that digit for any other alphabet. That will create a conflict. Okay, so now let's write down all the unique alphabets that we have here in these words. So we have B, A, S, E, B from ball is already gone, A is gone. Then we have L, then we have G, and then we have M. Rest all the words are covered. So, in total we have seven alphabets of which we need to find values. Values, as I said, can be from 0 to 9. Now, let's start solving. Now, obviously, uh, G does not have any alphabets above it, right? There are no alphabets here to add which will result in value of G. So, certainly in this particular column that is B plus B is equal to A, you know the answer of A is certainly a two digit number because of which A is getting the value from the units place and the tens place is basically a carry that is given to the next column and that value is getting assigned to G, right? So definitely G is equal to 1 which is being generated through the carry, right? So let's write it over here. G is what? G is equal to 1. We can update it here in this box as well. So G is over here, right? So G is equal to 1. Now, if G is equal to 1, it was generated from the carry. So, carry is coming from what? B plus B. So, B plus B should generate a two digit number for us to get uh, a two digit number as A. B is definitely equal to or greater than 5. So, B can be greater than or equal to 5. So, what are the possible values that we have? It can be 5 because 5 plus 5 will give you 10, which is a two-digit number. Then 6 plus 6 will give 12 and so on. So all the numbers that are greater than 5 will also be there. So these are the possible options that we have. So we will try with 5. Okay. Now let's say that, uh, you know, B is 5 and 5. So 5 and 5 will give us 10. Right? So, 10 and 1 carry. So, 1 is written over here. Okay? Now, if this is 0, now A is equal to what? A is, def is equal to 0. We got from here, B is equal to what? B is equal to 5. Now, it is creating a conflict. How? Now, here we have A. A's value we have found as 0. Now, if you write 0 plus 0, it is resulting into a 0. Now, this is a conflict. Now, A and M cannot be same. Right? So, let us try with some other value. So, there could have been a possibility that a carry was being generated and then that carry is getting added with, uh, you know, uh, 0 and it is resulting into 1. Now, that can also be a possibility that a carry is coming, getting added with 0 and then this, this will result into what? This will result into 1. But that can also not be a case. Why? Because 1 is already allotted to G. So, even that is a conflict. So, definitely this is also wrong, right? So, 5 cannot be the value of G right now. Next uh, possible option that we have here is 6, right? So, let us say the value of B is 6. So, let us update this to 6. Now, this will result into what? 12. So, the value of A is not 0, but let us say it is 2. So, A is 2. So, let us update it here as well, 2, 2 and this will now result in what? 4. Correct? So, this is not a carry. I have just simply written it over here to explain. So, let us update the value. So, this is 2 and B is not 5, blah, but we can take it as 6 for now because there is no conflict as of now. 
further if there is a conflict we can revisit it right. Now uh, m's value is what let us say it is 4. Now to find the value of s l and e there is no option. So, what we will have to do? We will have to form some equations and see if they help us to get the values, right. So, let us say in the third column, what do we have? We have S plus L is equal to E. And what about the fourth column? Fourth column says E plus L is equal to S, right. So, now this equation can be written like this or we can say that S plus L is equal to E plus 10 and this can also be written as E plus L is equal to S plus 10. Now, you might think from where this 10 is coming all of a sudden. Now, from where this 10 is coming, now let us say E and L are some values like this. If let us say uh, E is 7 and let us say L, okay, E is 7 and let us say L is equal to 5. Let us say we are just assuming. If you add these numbers, this is going to result in 12, right. So, E plus L is what? E plus L is equal to S. So, what is the value that is S will get? S is not equal to 12, right? Because what is our constraint? Every alphabet can only have one single digit from 0 to 9. 12 is not a single digit. It is two digits, right? So, here we have uh, a number in units place and one in, one in tens place. So, S will only get value as 2 which is present in the units place. Whatever is 1 will be given in the next place as a carry, right. So, this effect that is there, uh, S's value is 2, but the actual value that you got after addition of E and L is nothing but 12. So, this effect of 12 you are resolving by writing plus 10. I hope you understood that. So, this is the equation that we have. Now, let us proceed with this particular equation that we have in hand. So, here we can use this particular value of E and let us substitute in this E over here. If we do that, we have S plus L that is this E plus L which is equal to S plus 10. Now, we can cancel out this S with this S, right. Now, this becomes 2 L plus 10. Now, L's value is 10 by 2 which is equal to 5. So, now we got the value of L as 5. Now, let us update it in our table over here. L is equal to 5. Now, where do we have L here in this particular uh, box? We have uh, it over here 5 and 5. Now, let us try to solve it further to get the values of S and E. Now, let us write these equations again. So, what is the third column that we have and fourth column? Third column will now become S plus L. L is what now? 5. S plus 5 is equal to what? Um, e and uh, fourth column gives us what? Uh, e plus 5 is equal to S. Now, if we observe closely, we can see that the difference between E and S is 5, meaning that you know uh, if S is 8, 8 plus 5 will give you 13. So, E is the units place value that is 3, E is 3 then. And if let us say E is uh, you know 3 and S is uh, we have to find S. So, E plus 5, sorry that is 3 plus 5 which is the value of E will result in E. So, there is a relationship where it, we see that the difference that is there is of 5. So, now we need to find out what all possible values we have that will give us you know the difference of 5. So, we can take one value as 5 and one value as 0. The difference in them is 5, 5 minus 0 is 5. Then we can have 6 as one digit and 1 as the another digit. 6 minus 1 is 5. Similarly, 7 and 2. Then we have 8 and 3. And then finally, we have 9 and 4. So, these are the possible number options that we have. When you subtract them, they will give you a difference of 5. But if you see uh, over here, 5 is already used. So, we cannot use this particular combination. 6 is already used and 1 is also used, so this cannot be used. Again, 2 is already used, so this cannot be used. 
8 is not used as well as 3 is not used. So, we can try this option. Again, 4 is used here from this combination. So, this also cannot be used. So, the only possible option that we have is of 8 and 3. Let us assume S as 8 and let us keep value of E as 3. Let us try to solve the equation with these values and see what value, if it is working for us or not. So, let us put value of S as 8. So, this is also S which is 8, E is 3 and we will have 3 over here. Now, let us try to solve and see if it is fitting correctly. So, 3 plus 5 is resulting into 8 which is correct. Now, here 8 plus 5 is 13. So, 3 over here that is the units place and 1 is the carry that is being generated. Now, 1 plus 2 plus 2 is resulting into 5. Now, this is a conflict over here. The value that you got was 4 and if this is resulting in 5, you already have LS5. So, this is creating a conflict and the value that you have used is wrong. So, this particular columns that are there are certainly having some mismatch in value. So, this is because we have considered the value of B as what? We have considered the, see I have written it over here, right? The value of B as 5, then we took as 6. Now, let us say we cannot use the value of B as 6. Why? Because we saw that it is creating a conflict. Now, let us assume the value of B as 7 and see. Now, let us say this is 7 and here also we have 7. 7 and 7 is equal to what? 14. So, this is 14, 1 over here. So, if uh, A is 4, we will change these values also to 4 and 4. So, 1 plus 4 and 4 will result in 9. So, now this is perfectly fine and we have got our solution. So, the final values are B is 7, A is 4, S is 8, E is 3 and L is 5, G is 1 and the value of M is 9. So, I hope you have understood this problem solution. If you have any doubt, please write it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.